Well, all I can say is that this book has changed my life. And um, it's a really important book because it's not just the story of Leela or Anita or a couple of other girls whose lives we've entered. But it's really the story of India in many ways. Um, and it's just simply told through the narrative of Leela. But, you know, through this, this tale and uh, what I see it is as, as a sort of a relationship between Leela and this bar, this dance bar called Night Lovers. Um, through that sort of simple story, that relationship, if you can call it that, um, it really tells you the story of what is really happening in India outside of our urban middle class, upper middle class lives in Bombay. Because um, this is basically the story of women, of poverty, of uh, unbelievable exploitation at a time when we think that India is shining and Obama is visiting us and all this lovely stuff is happening all around, you know. And these stories really need to be told and I am so grateful to Sonia for having told the story. And not just that, but for, for telling it in such a kind of a, letting the girl speak for herself. Because, you know, bar girls, as far as I know, have been treated as this kind of caricatured entity where they either become victims, you know, pitiful, relentlessly pitiful victims, like we saw in um, that film Chandni Ba, uh, Madhav Bhandarpa's film. I, I, I had a problem with that because it was just too much of a kind of series of problems um, and cliches where she was almost like a Nirupa Roy, modern day Nirupa Roy figure. Or then they're kind of treated like these evil temp temptresses by people like R.R. R. Patil. And, uh, you know, the, they're not really given a voice. I mean, we don't really know who this girl is when we hear about the famous bar dancer. And this book really allows this girl to just tell it as is, as is. And there's no, there's no pity, there's no judgment, and there are no solutions offered. It's just the way it is. Um, and I think I appreciate that because it just is a story that speaks volumes on its own and her voice is, is, is compelling enough uh, where we don't really need any more interjection or moralism or any of that thrown in.